Hey guys, and in this video I'm gonna show you my sequencer build that was heavily inspired by a new summon device that's called Ornament 8. I just saw it a few days ago and uh, immediately get an idea how to realize um, a prototype in VSVRAC by using only three modules. And here it is. So this is how it sounds like, but it has so many variations and modulation things because it's actually a modulating sequencer. More info on it in the description. I will the link on the Soma site. Also, I very like to make another uh, patch uh, based on Soma device. The previous was is Lyra 8. Uh, I also leave a link to the video. And so yeah, now it's Ornament 8. So basically it's a um, sequencer, actually a gate trigger sequencer, but also a CV-like, but it's kind of weird because there's no way to get one volt per octave outputs, only a right trigger or a gate. And it's actually a modular system because you can patch those eight cells that present here by uh, time knobs. So each cell has own trigger uh, input and output slot that presents here in this matrix switch from Bok Audio. Also, each cell has a CV out and in matrix here. There is a also um, visualization. How is it going? There are also set and reset as in the original. And here is a definitely a heart of the sequencer. There is a pulse generator. Uh, so the time knob here uh, define uh, what length of the gate will be generated and then um, there's end of cycle signal is going to the another cell you have patched in this matrix. So it's like um, speaking of the cells between each other and the overall sequence will uh, be based on your patching, on your time settings or your uh, CV output, on your also X2 inputs and other, other CV uh, sources that you involved in the patch. So to show you the patch I just prepare a palette it's basically a table plates on steroids. I also have a video on it. So uh, in the trigger mode only. I know the original has an ability to uh, generate uh, gates that designed to get uh, Lyra 8 sequencing. And those gates can be also inverted. So this uh, thing to control Lyra actually, but uh, the Ornament 8 also can control Pulsar. And in this case, I like how this mangle with triggers. And I choose uh, the internal low pass gate mode in the palette and control it only by using triggers in this particular example. So let me. Let me disable any connections in this matrix. As you can see, the sound is going. Let me reset all matrix we have. So I mapped my numpad keyboard to the set. Set is a source of uh, initial triggers. So if I press one, it will be generate 
uh, the first cell and the first oscillator in there and two and three accordingly. So how to make a basic sequence? You need to connect for example trick one to trick two and make a feedback loop. It will would look like that. So if I press just one so we get that sequence loop and to control it you have to use those time knob. Uh, this time knobs doesn't work, uh, don't work as in original. It uh, turns uh, differently. So, for example, the shortest 50 milliseconds uh, time you can get to turn the knob fully counterclockwise, but in the original ornament 8 is fully clockwise. But this is a matter of design, I believe. So, uh, each time you set, uh, determine how uh, exactly the sequence would be divided or uh, uh, how this would be land in the time continuum. So if you just deselect this feedback loop it would be stopped because there is no trigger provides to the cells. Okay, so let's make a four cell loop but we'll trigger a from the third cell from here. So I just press 3 on my keyboard. Nice, let's set the timeline. And the thing is for me, I just add a link time. It's a nice attenuation tool that link all those time settings and just decrease it but save the relationships between the time because it's pretty important. This relationships is defined this sequencer actually. So let's add another connection. And you have noticed that the first and fifth cell playing simultaneously just because um, there is no right feedback loop. But now you, you hear the order sequencing actually. And this matrix uh, trick out and trick in allows you to do awesome things that you can do without any clocked sequencers. For example, you can play intervals, chords, you can create two independent loops. For example, let's uh, make some loop one to three and four, fifth, sixth. So it will be looks like that, I believe. Sorry, like that. So let's just turn the first loop on. Let's trick the fourth cell to activate another loop. Am I missing something? I think, yeah, we need to set uh, the uh, feedback point here. Let's try again. Fourth cell. Yes, we've got a loop. 
now this matrix of interactions between face of CV out to CV in that you can see here could uh, determine on the independent cells. For example, let's try something. You can see here the result of modulation. interaction between two independent loops it's pretty nice let's also decrease overall time of those cells pretty cool so uh, the reset buttons here is uh, such as um, to a uh, tool to tame the deactivate cells from this loop for example let's uh, hold this first one. Yeah, the first loop has gone. And let's try to select fifth cells. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can also mute a voice in the loop, for example. First. So, for example, you don't like the second oscillator in there, just mute it. But at this point you will save uh, those balance between the cells. And the time 2 would also determine the sequence length. It's so amazing idea from Soma. I very like that concept. The end of the loop. Pretty cool. In VisVirec you can uh, use um, randomized parameters like uh, you uh, were a mad patcher that can patch uh, the spider web on your modular system. So I use a grip tool from Sturmelder uh, that allows to block any uh, kind of um, any kind of uh, moves on this uh, diagonal uh, buttons. We don't want to use uh, some kind of feedback on the. Uh, same cell and it also prevent any changing from randomness so just press ctrl r or randomize and you will get uh, those values also don't forget to set inverting to disabled and also recommend to use hard clipper for output clipping option so like that i don't know what we will get now but something yeah pure semi-random madness such a nice tool for minimalistic sequential if you know what i mean it's just it just was a random patching in there. Let's try to use a random here. It of course depends. Pretty cool. And let's initialize it. Yes, immediately stop. Pretty cool. And here's also tool for me that activate a clocked random gates. So if you've got some basic patch in there, activate the first cell. You will hear some randomness <clears throat> because the first uh, cell output would be clock the random gates each time. And you can see those lights and it will choose uh, random triggers that of course 
uh, involves in the sequencing process. So every time it hit the right uh, uh, input, the sequence always would be different. But if you off it, turn it off, you get such a basic sequence determined by this connection. <clears throat> also, I've got X2 uh, switch in there that actually activates by this clocked random gate. Uh, X2 is just uh, increase uh, the time of the cell by uh, 2 multiplying by 2. Uh, I use this at inverter and X2 options and just switching between original signal and at inverted 1. Uh, pretty cool. Here's uh, also gates to use with such as uh, gates uh, tools if you want of course. And here is uh, also um, selection between uh, External LFO I choose Octo from RG modules and internal CV output that present uh, of phased output here. And here is also CV attenuation level that's uh, pretty nice for using an external uh, CV control to uh, get not mad of this. Uh, increasing seconds to the maximum. Uh, by the way, this module allows only to get 10 seconds, but I think it's good for VCV. So let's switch it to the LFO. And let's do some random batching here. And let's increase attenuation. Uh, you can hear that decrease it or uh, increase the time in the sequence. Let's decrease it. Pretty cool. And uh, this thing is really depends on your master um, patch point here. So let's just randomize it. initialize that and we've got pretty fast madness sequence let's try again so you can hear um, that this external alpha adjust the sequence you also get visual presentations here. So that was my sequencer based on nice, pretty nice cool idea from Russian romantic engineering from Soma. So you can get this patch on my Patreon as always. And don't forget to visit the Soma site to get familiar with those awesome manual and preview videos on this coolest ever sequencer, organismic sequencer, as the developer said. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time.